Okay, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you today. Coming to you through Zoom, through Facebook Live. So hopefully they are both working. I will just take a quick look here, make sure that they're both live and happening. Good. Okay, turn down my volume and then I can see. Very good. So aloha and welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Today is on how to increase your brain health. This will probably appeal to a lot of people depending on uh, who is watching. Uh, might even appeal to people you care about like your grandmother or grandparents that might be having a little brain health waning. Um, there are some pretty ancient techniques that can assist in increasing our brain health and they are related to the movement of chi, the movement of blocked energies. And so I'm going to go into some of those wisdoms today and then hopefully you'll get some value out of it. <clears throat> so I also had to take a little extra time setting up the Zoom, making sure that that works. So it looks like we're in pretty good shape here. This technology is always challenging, but thank you for coming and uh, appreciate it. So today has been very busy. I just uh, uh, completed the first week of my Awaken Spiritual Channels course. <clears throat> this is still an open invitation for those that wish to further develop or awaken their spiritual channels. Um, I am uh, extending the uh, half price discount um, and that will be extended until the end of the third week. So for those that are considering joining, they just had a little bit of a timing issue. You can still join. Everything is recorded. Open your spiritual channels, open your third eye, ability to communicate with heaven. You've heard me do flows and you've heard me communicate with heaven, um, third eye images, etc. So these are things that are learnable. These are things that are attainable if you do the practices. So you can learn more about that by uh, going to my website, uh, asoulhealer.com. I will type it in here for you. And it's right there on the home page. <clears throat> and you can look for my post and see it. And just go there and check it out. Okay. And so let's see who has joined us. Uh, welcome, Petra Marie Lennon. Aloha. Welcome, Kathy Arnold. Uh, welcome also to Ali Fess and uh, Carol Strakwadin. Hopefully I said that correct. Aloha and welcome, Alan Bell. <clears throat> welcome, Monica. Welcome also to Tammy Hunter. And aloha and welcome to uh, Marisiana Vakakamina. That's a tough name. Uh, Glenford Peters, aloha, welcome. Welcome, Julie Tremble. And welcome also, Dan Atkinson. So thank you all for coming. Hopefully more people will join as we go. I did not do a lot of advertising today. I just posted about an hour ago that I'd be going live. So I, I did set aside a couple of slides that we'll be working with. <clears throat> um, one reason why I decided to use Zoom was because it helps me to uh, express what I need to express a bit more clearly. It's easier to share my screen, things like that. So... But in the meantime, while we are waiting for other people to gather and join, uh, what I have been doing in this live stream, been doing it for many, many years now, and I always call forth the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. I also call forth the beings of light and invite them to be present. They assist us with uh, releasing the Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages, which are soul, heart, mind, energy, matter blockages, and they assist us with having greater alignment to the source how to clear our blockages so we can be fully present, okay? So I'm gonna place my hands in soul light, soul service hand position. I invite you to do the same. And we will connect and I'll invite in the beings of light. <clears throat> Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine Tao and source, we love you, we honor you, deeply appreciate you. We invite you to attend at this time, this live stream. Please come join, bless each and every one of us to further develop and awaken our brain and our brain health. Please help us to more align our Shen, Qi, and Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. We ask forgiveness if we have harmed any soul in any lifetime. We ask for your presence. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, honor you, and appreciate you. And we ask for your presence as well. We invite all souls in all universes to chant with us this source soul song to help us align heart to heart, soul to soul. For those, again, that are new, this is a mantra I use 
uh, this mantra to clear the energy fields, be present, and to bless everybody as it is a blessing. You can make a request, and then I will chant. All those who know the song, you're welcome to chant with me. And you can learn more uh, about this song. Go to lovepeaceharmony.org. and has been um, literally written in 40 languages and is chanted around the globe. So I will chant to serve you. Make a request. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. O I wash in her ling, O I tram ran lay, Wang ni hing rung, her musher shung, Shung I ping on her she, Shung I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Obviously, the last version was English. Prior to that, it was Mandarin Chinese, and then soul language. Um, I also know it in Thai, I know it in uh, Tagalog, Japanese, I've learned probably eight or nine languages. That's pretty fun to know them. Um, okay, let's see who else has joined us before we go forward today. <clears throat> so welcome Becky Lafa, welcome also to uh, Tatiana, aloha, welcome Tanuja, and Greta Orr, aloha. Welcome also to Nadia Miller, Nancy England, and Tammy J, aloha, welcome. Dan, uh, Don DeGaro, welcome also to Christina Barker. My nose is itchy because all the beings came. Uh, whenever I, especially when I do Love, Peace, and Harmony, just so many souls come. All of a sudden my nose starts itching. doesn't happen until I do the song. Very powerful. Uh, welcome also to Elizabeth Marie. So thank you all. Thank you for also for clicking on the share button, letting other people know about this. Today we're going to be focusing on increasing your brain health. Now, this is specifically using um, uh, the four power technique, body power, sound power, mind power, and of course, soul power. And we'll be using a specific mantra for the movement of chi, movement of energy, movement of blockages. <clears throat> uh, my teacher, Dr. Master Zhigong Sha, was an amazing soul. Uh, he's written this book here called Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. He's written quite a few books, over 20 actually. And um, in, in this book, that I'll be sharing some of the wisdom uh, for the subject matter. But Dr. Master Shah is a, a, a doctor. He's actually a medical doctor. He's trained in Western medicine and Eastern medicine, both. Who, who has a degree in both, right? Takes like, you know, six to eight years just to get a degree. Very intelligent, very talented. But he's also trained under great um, enlightened beings in, uh, in China, the kind that you have to you know, search for for 10 years to find and then train with another 10 years to actually receive their wisdom. And he's trained with several of these masters. Uh, he, as a, as a medical doctor, has a great understanding of the human body. So the, the, uh, when he places in a book, uh, spiritual wisdom, how to increase brain power, he understands what modern medicine already knows. This is not to give you what mod modern medicine already knows. This is to increase your brain power using higher wisdom and higher techniques, including the spiritual techniques that you will learn today. Now, to do that, we use the four power technique, body power, sound power, mind power, and soul power. We also incorporate mantra. Mantra is sound power. And mantra carries great power depending on how it's released. Now, one of the things uh, in, in I'm gonna, there's actually three different things we're going to be doing today to assist in brain power. Um, but one of the things that we're going to be covering is sacred code. Sacred code. What is sacred code? Sacred code is numbers. 
code is numbers. We already know you can run computers off numbers, but actually there are sacred codes. And codes um, are like, like, a, a, like a combination key. Well, you know, yeah, in order to get into the safe, you have to know the combination code. Well, in order to unlock the secrets of the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual body, sacred codes assist with this. And you're going to see one today for the brain. It's very, very uh, amazing. And all you have to do is practice with it before you get validation of the efficacy of this sacred code. We're also going to do a practice for a lower part of the body, which impacts the upper part of the body. Again, sacred spiritual wisdom that would not normally be comprehended or learned uh, by the average Joe. And so <clears throat> when I started training with Master Shah about nine years ago, he shared uh, about this area of the body called the snow mountain area and the Kundalini area. And although I had studied quite a few practices, I still had very little knowledge on the Kundalini itself. Um, and the snow mountain I had zero knowledge on. But in traditional Chinese uh, medicine and traditional Chinese teachings, what in the East, the yoga traditions they call Kundalini, in the, uh, in the um, Far East, China, they call the snow mountain area. In Taoist traditions, it's also called the golden urn. What is it? Well, I'll show you a picture of what it is, and you can decide if it's something that uh, uh, you are familiar with. So let me set the slideshow up appropriately. And give me just a second. I got to make one more adjustment here. Cancel that. Okay, very good. So I'll share my screen and you should be able to see what I see. So the Kundalini or snow mountain area is a space in the body. Now it's located uh, in a place in the body. So everybody touch their, their finger to their belly button and go back straight back about two thirds of the way and then drop down in, in your mind's eye, drop down about two and a half inches, okay? So there's an area, an energy center that sits in front of the base of your spine in the body, not in the center of the body. And it's a fist sized energy center. It is a foundational energy center. Uh, you can look at this image here and you can get a feel for about where it's at. <clears throat> so from your belly button, you go back two thirds of the way, which is past center, you drop down about two and a half inches. This is about where the base of the spine is. And it sits in front of that. Now this fist sized energy center is referred to as Kundalini, snow mountain area, et cetera. Well, what does it have to do with brain health? I actually didn't understand that until I received these higher teachings. So let me acknowledge who else might be showing up here today. Uh, welcome to Anne-Marie Stewart. Welcome Seema AJ. Uh, aloha to Don Degara. Welcome Ilona Redfern. Welcome Vanessa Laval. Welcome Paul Black and Larissa Wood. Aloha to Elizabeth Carrasco. Uh, and welcome also Kate Nicole and Gunu. Aloha. Welcome Wes Boatman, Heather uh, Rasmussen. And uh, welcome also to anyone else whose name I may have missed. Thank you all for coming. So what does the Kundalini Snow Mountain area have to do at all with the brain and brain health? Well, according to traditional wisdoms, when we empower the foundational area of the body, this is one of the foundational areas, this particular area has a direct association with the kidneys. The kidneys have a direct association with brain health. Isn't that interesting? Not gonna find that in your modern traditional medicines, are you? They, they don't even connect the two of them. And in the traditional teachings, when we boost power to the Kundalini area, it actually sends energetic food, energetic nourishment to the kidneys, then up the spinal column, clearing blockages along the spinal column, and then it feeds and nourishes the brain, and it even feeds and nourishes the third eye. How cool is that, right? You work in a lower part of your body, you get to feed and nourish your kidneys, brain, and third eye. Well, let's talk about the relevancy of this. When the fetus is born, what is the first organ that is formed? What is the first organ that is observed by uh, doctors underneath the, the x-rays? It is kidneys. What is the next? It is the spinal cord, spinal column, and brain. 
in the traditional well, Eastern teachings, <clears throat> there is mantra that Master Shah has brought to us in Tao One and Tao Two books. And it, literally the mantra is in the order of the production cycle of the human being. And it's a spiritual mantra to bring us to enlightenment. Isn't that interesting? And so I'm not going to go into that mantra now, but in essence, it states in Mandarin Chinese, it states, feed and nurse the kidneys, feed and nurse the spinal cord, feed and nourish the brain, reach enlightenment. This is the essence of that mantra. How awesome is that? And so when people actually practice for the lower foundational area, the Kundalini area, or what is referred to as snow mountain area, they are in essence feeding and nourishing the kidneys, the brain, and the third eye. And so, and if you do it enough, you could reach enlightenment. But you have to do it properly. Very important to do it with, uh, with an educated teacher who knows the difference. So one more time, I will show you the uh, image. So those that may have come in late can see it. So this is where the Kundalini Snow Mountain area is located. Uh, if you touch your belly button, you go back two thirds of the way, drop down approximately two and a half inches, and here's where the snow mountain area is. Now the kidneys, for those of you that are not familiar, is right at that dip in your back, just slightly above them, you have two kidneys, left and right. And a lot of, for a lot of people actually lower back pain or what they call lower back pain uh, is actually the kidneys. You know, many times, of course, it really is lower back, but sometimes it actually is the kidneys. And one of the ways to bring healing to that area is to boost the snow mountain area, okay? So, how do we do this practice? This is only one part of a two-part practice today for awakening the brain. The other part is just as fun. So what are we going to do? We're going to sit up straight, bring your back away from the back of the chair. Welcome Susan Roseman, welcome Rossman, welcome Angela Diacomo, welcome Griselda, welcome Dennis Rollins. Welcome also Michelle Hummel. So everybody sit up straight, bring the back away from the back of the chair. Somebody decided to mow their lawn right while they do this live stream. That was very thoughtful of them. <clears throat> place one palm on your lower abdomen, one palm over your lower back, okay, with the center of your palm over that dip in your back, referred to as the Mingmen. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen to this energy center that I have just indicated. Visualize light coming into this area. We're going to connect. This is called soul power. For those of you that are new, just trust it. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of my energy center, the Kundalini Snow Mountain area, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. You have the power to boost yourself. You have the power to heal and rejuvenate yourself. You have the power to feed and nourish my kidneys, my brain, and even my third eye. As I chant and focus light into you, into your energy center, please feed and nourish my kidneys, brain, and third eye. I am very grateful. Thank you. Now we have to do a quick forgiveness. Very important. Repeat after me. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have in this or any time created suffering for your brain, created blockages in your ability to think clearly. If I or my ancestors have offered wrong thoughts, words, or actions that have impacted your brain health, then I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. I will continue to serve, to make others happier and healthier, and clear these karmic blockages. Thank you. So now with our thoughts on our Kundalini area, create a visualization. Visualize light coming from 360 degrees into this area. Focus. And as we chant, see the light radiating up to the brain, feeding and nourishing the kidneys and the brain. We will chant for just a few minutes, and we're going to chant with the sound power 
jo, jo, jo. This is a mantra, a number code. And this sound power vibrates the lower abdomen, specifically this area. So chant with me. Jo, 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 jo. Eyes closed, focus on Kundalini. Jo, 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 jo. Jo, 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 jo. Jo, 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 jo. Jo, 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 jo. Jo, 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 Visualize the light. Gather the light into the snow mountain kundalini area. Jo, 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 jo. See the light going up the spine, feeding and nourishing the kidneys, third eye and brain. Jo, 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 jo. Now with your mind, silently chant, Jo, Jo, see the light gathering, boosting power. Jo, 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 Jo. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is part of the practice for boosting power to your brain. It's important, especially for those that are, <clears throat> um, you know, need a cup of coffee every day. Uh, you find yourself forgetting a little bit here and a little bit there. What does that mean? That means your kidneys are getting weaker. That means your brain is not getting the necessary brain food. Now, there are other common sense things. I'm going to divert a little bit from spirituality here, but I want you to really pay attention to this. It has been said by Western medicine, and it is true, that the stomach is the second brain. Now, technically, it's more than the stomach. It's the entire intestinal system. Why is it a second brain? Well, look at the autistic children. A hundred percent of them have brain problems. And 100% of them, the brain problems started in the intestinal tract. 100%. In all of the cases, they have a massively, massively uh, compromised digestive system. Why does it impact the brain? Because what we ingest our immunity, our ability to work with disease, virus, things of that nature, candida, et cetera, et cetera, gets drawn into the bloodstream. Those toxins then get distributed to the brain and it causes the misfiring of cell to cell in the brain activity. So all cell to cell misfiring in the brain with the exception of actual brain trauma is very, very likely as a result of toxicity in the body that has found its way to the brain acting as a, a blockage between two cell to cell communications in the brain. When we work at the level of spirituality, boosting power to the Kundalini, boosting power to the brain itself, so the practice you're going to learn in just a few minutes, 
when we uh, realize that the engine of our body, our physical body, is what we eat and our process, and if we give our, uh, our physical body the necessary uh, healthy processes, then we don't put toxicity, unnecessary toxicity in our body and our brain can handle it. So we must also give our brain nourishment uh, on the spiritual side. Even the conditions that brought about that autism for that child is karmic in nature. There's no accidents, you know, heaven doesn't, doesn't have accidents. The, the web of life is not accidental by any stretch of the imagination. So even the child that is autistic, it is a karmic condition that came to that child and those parents so that life lessons could be experienced in whatever way that they're meant to be experienced for them. However, um, knowing that the root of all success, the root of all blockages in our life is karmic in nature, then we must deal with it at that level. So when we work with things, spiritually speaking, clearing the blockages at the level of origin, at the level of soul, then naturally that which shows up here on earth uh, is impacted positively. Another way to state it, if you looked at the soul and somebody has brain-related problems, the, the brain of that soul would literally have clouds. It would be dark. And that is a reflection of the karma. That is a reflection of at some level, at some point in time, uh, there was a lifetime where others were harmed at the level of the brain. Therefore, that brain has fog in it. The person down here on earth, the, the, the physical representation of the soul, then has blockages on their brain. Heal the soul first. The mind, the body follows. One sentence secret Master Shah brings to us. Very simple, one sentence secret. Heal the soul first, mind and body follows. So when we uh, offer blessings, to the brain using these mantras, using these special soul powers. When we send uh, spiritual power up to the brain, we are clearing the blockages at the level of soul. Then the physical, the mind, the body must follow. So hopefully that makes a little more sense. Welcome Tiffany Jensen. Uh, welcome also to Sharon Dodd. Welcome Monica. Welcome to uh, Melissa Buzz and Indy Maturi. Welcome Chai. Welcome also to anybody else whose name I have missed. Thank you for joining. So now I'm gonna show you a different slide. And this slide is for a mantra for the brain. Okay. So take a look at this. This is an uh, image of the brain. You have the left side and the right side of the brain, known as the hemispheres, and the part down the middle that no one ever talks about, right? So many people know that the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body, and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. But very few people understand the um, energetic function down the middle of the brain. This is known as the corpus callosum. And those who are the smartest, those who have the highest uh, IQs, have the most balanced brains. Those who have the greatest athletic prowess have the most balanced brains. This means that the corpus callosum is clear of blockages. Those who have um, epilepsy have blockages in the corpus callosum. Epilepsy is, an, is where the firing between left and right hemispheres is not working correctly. That's one uh, potential uh, source of the problem. There's probably a few others, but I know that to be one potential source of the problem. Okay. And so when we utilize these sacred number codes that you see, what does it do? Well, I mentioned to you early on that there are sacred codes. Sacred codes are codes that are received. Oh, so you're telling me that somebody didn't make it up? Yeah, I'm telling you it was received from heaven. Well, how am I supposed to believe it? What, what makes it sacred? What makes it real? What's the, what's the backup news behind it? Well, let's look at it like this. Modern medicine has been around for about 200 years and they started out cutting people and cutting off limbs and, and bleeding them and doing things that obviously didn't work. Even as late as the late 1800s, they didn't believe in bacteria and, and, and virus. And the, the doctors with massive egos, they would literally wipe the scalpel on the bottom of their shoe before they cut open a person to spite 
the wisdom that was coming from the doctor saying, yes, there really is virus and bacteria. That's the lack of intelligence of the 200 year old modern medical system. It's come a long way, baby, so to speak, but understand it is exceedingly limited in its knowledge. Eastern medicine, 5,000 years minimum. How do they know where an energy meridian is? You can't see it. And yet, if you go to an acupuncturist, they can put a needle, break free the energetic blockage, and people's pain goes away and they feel better. But you can't see whatever they put that needle into. Why did they put it at that one point at the skin? Because through people's third eye, they're able to see the energy channels in the human body. So when I tell you there is such a thing as a sacred number code, you must understand that this is ancient, 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 beyond ancient wisdom that has been received by people with very, very open spiritual channels. The kind of stuff that modern medicine is completely clueless about, completely clueless. They would just laugh at this, but they also laughed at acupuncture until finally, about 20 years ago, insurance started accepting it. So they still laugh at a lot of this stuff because they have no way to scientifically validate it. Doesn't mean it hasn't worked for 5,000 years. Doesn't mean it doesn't work now, okay? And practice, and that validates it in and of itself. When you practice this, what I want you to pay attention to is what happens for you physically. Do you notice any vibration? Do you notice any energize, energization? If you are more asleep, are you more awake? Notice where you are now. Notice where you are after we do the practice. So now we're going to introduce you to these number codes. On the left side of the brain, uh, excuse me, the center of the brain, there is a number code 01777. The mantra is Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi. Everybody repeat. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi. 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 Welcome also to um, Lali. Welcome, Angela Byrne. Welcome, uh, uh, Lisa Zarniak. So when we chant Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, what are we doing? We are vibrating the center of channel between the left and the right hemisphere. We're vibrating. We're causing vibrational frequency that aligns the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. Pretty cool stuff, right? The number code for the left hemisphere, Jo Ling Ba, 908. What is this 908-01777? What does it have to do with these strange sounds? Okay, well, in English, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Everybody knows how to chant in their language. Well, in Mandarin Chinese, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 also has sounds. Ling is the number zero. Yao is the number one. Chi, 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 seven respectively, and so forth. So these are actual just numbers, just Mandarin Chinese numbers. But they were learned, they were received heavenly codes in that language. Therefore, the, the sound power associated with chanting the numbers is very relevant and important. You can chant 01777 if you're English, but it won't have the same power because this is thousands of years old. And when somebody chants something for thousands of years, it has a lot of power associated with it. So the Jolin Ba is the mantra associated with the left side. We go over here to the other side and we see again, Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi. And we see for the right side of the brain, Jo R R S S. Zhou R R Su Su. is just like it's spelled. Su Su. So when we chant this with your eyes closed, which is the ideal, you have to take a moment to, to tune in to the, uh, to the sound itself. If you keep your eyes open to try to memorize it, it's going to be tough. If you keep your eyes closed and just listen, you will catch on much faster. Trust me. Okay? Everybody close their eyes. Go ahead and relax your palms on your lower abdomen. Keep your mind in your kundalini area. Your brain will get the blessings. Don't worry about that. But we want our mind in the kundalini area. Repeat after me. 
dear the soul, this is soul power, dear, dear the soul of my brain, dear the soul of my left and right hemisphere and my corpus callosum, dear the soul of all <coughs> of the cells of my brain, all the energy and matter that makes up my brain. <clears throat> I love you. I honor you. I deeply appreciate you. Thank you for all that you do for me. You help me to think, to make choices. You help me to process. You help me to blink and to breathe without even thinking. You help my body to stand upright and to move from A to B. You do trillions of transactions a second without me even knowing about it. And I have not given you enough credit and gratitude. Please forgive me. I am beyond grateful for all that you do for me. I truly do not wish to end up at the end of my life with no brain function, with Alzheimer's or with forgetfulness. And I know you, my beloved brain, have the power to keep that from happening. So as I chant this mantra, Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo Ling Ba, Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Su Su, could you please receive all the blessings, balance my left and right hemispheres, and strengthen my brain function. I am extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us also ask blessings from the outer souls. Continue to repeat. Dear all of the beings of light invited to today's live stream, my individual heavens team, guides, angels, and saints, my own soul, I love you, honor you, respect you, bow my head to you. Could you please bless my brain and today's practice so that I get the greatest benefit from this practice? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so now we're going to focus only on the left side of the brain. We will chant Ling, Yao, Chi, 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 Jo, Ling, Ba. We're going to chant that over and over, faster and slower, because it vibrates the large spaces and the small spaces. And then we will do the right side of the brain, and then we will put them together, okay? So visualize the left side of your brain. Close your eyes. See the left side of your brain. See the light coming in. And as you chant, see light dancing around all of your cells, awakening all of your cells of your brain. <clears throat> Let us begin. Ling, yao, chi, 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 jo, ling, ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba 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 See all your brain cells dancing. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba 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 Silently Silently chant Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba 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 How? Keep your eyes closed. Now, bring your attention to the right side of your brain. See the right hemisphere, bright and happy, bright and happy. The corpus callosum, the center of your brain, is very active. It's just as active as the left side of your brain. 
Now, as we chant, Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, your corpus, corpus callosum, the center of your brain is being more active and it's radiating its light to the right side of the brain. Let us chant Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Let us begin. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Pay attention to your body. You may be chanting for your brain, but your body may be reacting. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Silently chant. See the light dancing amongst all the cells in your right hemisphere. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. A little bit faster. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo R R Si Si. How? And now keep your eyes closed. Now we will dance back and forth between the left and the right hemisphere. We will chant Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si, and then back and forth and back and forth, <clears throat> and see the light dancing between the hemispheres. Visualize the infinity symbol, the figure eight, going from one side to the next, from one side to the next, crossing the corpus callosum. You can see it going back and forth ten times, or a hundred times, or a million times. A second, as fast or as slow as you like, but see the bouncing occur. Let us continue. Ling yao chi 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 jo ling ba. Ling yao chi 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 jo r r si si. Ling yao chi 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 jo ling ba. Ling yao chi 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 jo r r si si. Ling yao chi 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 jo ling ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si. And now we're gonna go faster. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si. If you cannot speak that fast, then chant with me silently. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R Si Si
好，好，好 ，Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Okay, sharing. How did that feel? Did you notice any vibration? Did you notice any tingling in different parts of the body? What was your experience? Monica says, "Very powerful." Monica Castro says, "Wow, this practice is so powerful. Her heart started to react.、Uh, what happened to her heart?" I love Master Paul. Um, I'm hearing that there is a a brain to heart communication specific to the、um, uh, rhythm, the number of beats, and that the brain、uh, needed to realign itself so that your heart had the correct number of beats. That's what I'm hearing. Kathy Arnold says, "Wow," and Monica, her heart started to accelerate very much. Great, Don Degara felt a lot of buzzing. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of buzzing in my head. Also, still even now, on my right calf,、uh, while I was doing,、uh, was it? I was on my right brain actually, but that's when it started. When I was in my right brain, my right calf、uh, is still vibrating. Like, 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 I had to look down there to see if an ant was crawling on me. It's still an ant is crawling on me,、uh, but it's not really there.、Uh, Lisa Zarniak says it was very calming for her. Yeah, that would be a very good.、Uh, Uh, practice for you, Lisa. Larissa says, "Wow, incredible! Feels like her brain just got plugged back into the universal bank of energy, and I'm noticing that as well.、Uh, I do feel more energized than now." <clears throat>、um, Kathy said she saw happy lights dancing all over. Yeah, beautiful. Lots and lots of movement, and so this practice really can make a significant difference. It's one of those where yes, we we might have to write it down and remember it. Yes, we might have to put a a twenty one day memory, you know,、uh, on our calendar every day or something like that. But you know, chanting while we're driving,、um, you can't close your eyes, but it will assist you regardless.、Um, it will assist you more obviously with your eyes closed, because you're bringing、uh, mind power into it. And mind power is one of the four powers. Of course, it will assist. But you can,、uh, you know, make it a practice. You can also teach it to the people that are elderly around you that might be having little brain faculty issues. You can make it a game with them. Children love this. This is a great thing to be sharing with the children. They really appreciate it. Angela says she can feel her brain buzzing and racing in her heart. <coughs> the heart racing could also be because <laughs> going faster, faster, faster. A lot of people do that when they when they start chanting fast. They they get their self built up.、Um, daily, you know, minimum five minutes once or twice a day、uh, will will be of great value. If you can do it daily, <laughs> that would be a feat in and of itself. Most of us can't do anything more than twenty one days in a row because we have so many things tugging at us. So if you can just be consistent daily, five minutes.、Um, if you have the best way to do it, honestly, is to plug it into a pattern that you already have. Right, a pattern where you can do it and it doesn't bother what you're doing, such as doing the dishes or driving or something like that. And in this way,、um, it becomes something that you can duplicate every time. It becomes something that assists you,、uh, that you remember doing because of that pattern. You know, okay, I'm driving. I'll chant. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm sitting at the bench、uh, while while my my dog is out doing its thing. I will chant. You know, whatever it is that you do on a consistent basis. Plug that in in those moments. That's a great way to to make it a pattern. Okay,、uh, Don Degara says thank you.、Uh, Monica says yeah, especially now pregnant with twins. Thinking about I have three hearts and three brains. Yeah,、uh, invite the brains of your twins to join and ask their souls to chant along with you. Their brains will get huge, 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 huge monster, huge benefit. Um, lots of thank yous. Okay, so everybody's welcome, and also Greta Orr says her brain feels great. I thank you for all the comments, and thank you for joining today. Also,、uh, make sure you share this so other people can see it. Grateful for that. Quick reminder to everybody: my open spiritual、uh, class, open spiritual channels class,、uh, just started. Also, the、um, 
the ongoing, it's a, literally a one-year program, but anybody can join any time. Every week, I, I go into one section of Master Shah's books, and we go into deep detail with that section and do a lot of practices. It's only a one-hour class, but it's happening every week. And there's a midweek practice. And so for $100, you get three months worth of this wisdom, uh, direct one-on-one -on -one teachings in a webinar structure, a uh, lot of positive feedback from the students that are joining that. And you can learn that on my homepage, uh, asoulhealer.com. And then it's just it's like right after the first two inches when you, when you get to my homepage. And then the second link you'll see there is for my open spiritual channels, uh, which literally is, is cracking open your soul so that you can receive heaven's messages and, uh, and open further your third eye or open it for the first time. No pr promises in terms of these things opening up fully and completely. But those who do the practices have results. Um, and so I'm keeping that class open for the first uh, three weeks until I start the fourth week because everything is recorded. And even if somebody comes in late, they can um, catch up pretty easily. Um, right now, until the end of the third week, so it's about another two and a half weeks, uh, I'm still honoring the 50% discounts, normally $360 for my 12-week Open Spiritual Channels course. Um, and you can get it for half that if you use the MP 50% code. I'll type that in here um, so you can access it. So look for my uh, comment, uh, my, my pin to the top. It says MP 50%. If you use that code, only for the open spiritual channels, you get 50% off. It does not apply. And uh, it, actually, it will work with the other program, but I'm not going to uh, accept it. Um, so you do have to have a regular honor fee for the 52-week um, learning program, self-healing program. So it's self-healing, how to heal your blockages, how to heal your mental blockages, your emotional blockages, how to heal your physical sufferings. Um, you, I tell you, you can, you can be 100% better in a year if you just attend that course once a week at a time, just do the practices. It's cheap, like $10 a week. So I made it dirt, dirt, dirt cheap so anybody can join. So um, make sure you go to my homepage, asohealer.com. Monica has has put those programs up there for uh, everyone to see. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And I will see you on Thursday, three hours earlier than now, 9 a.m. Hawaii time. So thank you, everybody, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.